This is a Saturday morning TV log from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Welcome to another Saturday morning TV log, and this time around, it's Monchichi's, brought to us by Hannah Barbera. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm Dual, better known to you as the Big D. This is Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So today's Saturday morning TV log is Monchichi's. Based on the stuffed toy line of dolls released by the Japanese company Sekiguchi Corporation. This was an animated comedy fantasy adventure series. Originally premiering on ABC in September of 1983, teaming with Richie Rich and the Little Rascals, replacing Pac-Man from the previous season, which wanted to give his well, well, give his own time slot. Which, I'll talk about that like another time. Anyway, produced by Hanna-Barbera, was part of the Monchichi's Little Rascals Richie Rich Show. Yes. Anyway, uh, now I feel like this was kind of an underrated show and what have you, but even so, uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, Yes. Now, along with the new episodes of Little Rascals and Richie Rich, it went on, aired on through to 1983, but in early 84, because of the ratings, the package show was split up into two separate half-hour shows. So, so the Munchichis would come on um, a different time. The Little Rascals and Richie Rich remained for, uh, well, for its own hour-long thing for the rest of the season. Anyway, let's talk about the show. The Munchichis are these monkey-like creatures who live in the forest land of Munchia, at the very top of tall trees well above the clouds. The tribe's leader, Wizard, is a magical wizard who can make up spells and potions to defeat their enemy, Horg, and... Uh, the fiendish grumplings of Grumplor. Now, I really like a lot of the, of the fun-filled characters and what have you. Well, there's so many of them. It's, yeah, it's kind of hard to remember all the well, all the characters and what have you. But anyway, we did have a pretty good voice acting cast. Include Peter Cullen, see Frank Nelson, voice got Frank Welker, Bill Woodson, Laurel Page. Yeah. Still, I really like these characters, and what can I say? It's a pretty good show, and. I will say you can find the introduction to it on YouTube. It'd be tough to find the series, though. If you can find it, though, good luck in finding it. Still, I am going to say that this show is really good, and it was another attempt to cash in on some of the little critter-type characters that were big at the time. Of course, Han Barbera had already more... Recently had success with the Smurfs on NBC, and and then following up with Shirt Tales the previous year. Now apparently this would be the second, well, Critters little Critters type show to come on Saturday mornings in '83. Of course, the studio also produced the Biscuits, which came on CBS, which also is, in my opinion, an underrated show. Now, of course, I know most of the, um, well, little guys, they include, aside from Wizard, there was also Muncho and Tutu, Kyla. Yeah, it's hard for me to remember who's who because it's been a few years since I last saw the show. Now, I do actually have the very first episode, which was featured on the... Saturday Morning Cartoons Complete Collection, which was originally released solo in the Saturday Morning Cartoons in the 1980s and 2010. 
In 2017, the full series got released from the Warner Archive. I think you can get it for a reasonable price, but, well, I don't know. Anyway, after a total of 13 episodes were produced and aired, the show came to an end, but continued, but as I mentioned, continued to be rerun until the end of the season. The show later re-aired as part of the USA Cartoon Express, which that's where I caught it, because I can't remember, because I wasn't watch, I wasn't really watching ABC much in the when I was little. CBS was why I was watching mostly, and I, even though I did watch some of NBC at the time as well. Still, I'm going to say Munchichis is just probably one of, if not the funniest and the cutest. But anywho, uh, hmm. Yeah. I really do think that this show is just, I don't know. I don't know if this show gets a lot to talk about, but I am going to be t talking about this show throughout this Saturday morning TV log, and, well, let's see here. Even so, uh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Now I can see. Okay, now, let's see the, there, oh yeah, here's some Marmon Chi Chi's I forgot to mention. There's Patchet and Thumpkey. Yes. Okay, well, I can, I think I can give you a better look at, yeah. Look at some of these. So guys, let me give you another glance at the characters and what have you. Okay, yeah, here we are. Uh, the top row we have Mancho and Patchet. Then the bottom row we have Kyla. There's um, Thumpkey and Tutu. Yeah. You saw Wizard in the op well the opening I shared, which was the tile card for the actual series intro. So anywho. Uh, I think Munchichis is just so, so much fun. Again, I I haven't watched a whole lot of this. Only the first episode I got to see, uh, revisit. I haven't revisited any of the other episodes. It's been years. Anyway, now, Frank Welker voices Patchett. Hank Sorian voices Donkey. Frank Nelson voices Wizard, Laurel Page voices Kyla, Bobby Morse voices Mancho, and Ellen Gerstel voices Tutu. But there's lots of others and what have you. Sidney Miller voices the leader of the Grumplins, the, well, the evil Horg. Yeah. Well, they're always trying to do their best to try and go after those Monchichis, similar to what we've seen with other characters, those, some of the others, not counting the shirt tails, because they had lots of baddies to go up against. Because you know the Smurfs had Gargamel, and the Biscuits had King Max. Yeah. So anyway, Monchichis, I think, is a cute show, and I think you ought to give it a try. If you haven't seen it, this is one show you might want to check out. I wish it could have kept going, but, well, you know how some, some of these shows went on Saturday mornings. Easy come, easy go. But anyway, that's all I had to tell you about this show. So, what are your thoughts on Mon Chi Chi's? Did you ever see this show when you were a kid in the 80s? Tell me in the comment section below. If you like this video, consider clicking the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Now, coming up, I, I did have... I was going to do them for, well, rewatches, but I've decided to change it. It's going to be right back to the first time watches. I'm redoing it. I, because if you saw my announcement I gave last night, I made a major error and what have you. So I will certainly have it fixed up. And this time, no, no mistakes. Okay, good. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, check out these 
the Saturday morning TV logs I did for these other two shows I mentioned where little critters go up against a big main bad guy. In the upper left-hand corner is the Saturday morning TV log I did for the Smurfs. The upper right-hand corner is the Saturday morning TV log I did for the Biscuits, which is still doing pretty well, as a matter of fact. Or if you want something else, go to the bottom left-hand corner and see last week's Saturday morning TV log of Jim Henson's Muppet Babies from 1984. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., as well as the Saturday morning TV log, then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching, and next week's Saturday morning TV log is... Spider-Man from 1994. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.